What's going on guys? Radio Graffiti here, and today I'm finally going to be able to talk to you guys about Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I know this movie came out like over a month ago, it's been almost two months ago at this point, but i finally seen it, and it was just fine, kind of like the first Venom movie. Actually, I think I might like this one better than the first Venom movie. Venom 2 is a pretty short movie, it's only an hour and 30 minutes long which is kind of a breath of fresh air because a lot of these other Supercon movies they feel they need to be two hours and two hours and thirty minutes and all this other shit and it's like look just make your movie length the amount of story you have to tell don't stretch shit out and don't put a bunch of filler in it to just stretch out the runtime. don't waste the audience's time this movie does feel kind of rushed like everything just happened so damn quickly it wasn't too distracting I guess but then let there be carnage the movie is basically just about Basically just Venom and Eddie are bitching because Venom is upset that Eddie doesn't want Venom to eat people's heads off. And then they get into like a fight, they end up breaking up, and then a guy named Cletus Cassidy, which is just Woody Harrelson doing a terrible job at trying to be a comic book character, ends up breaking out of prison after biting Eddie. He turns into the carnage. He breaks out of prison and he wants to kill Eddie. The movie really tries to force to have Eddie and Cletus have some kind of relationship even though they have no relationship at all. Like Cletus is just always trying to make a huge big deal about him and Eddie making it seem like they have a huge past when they really don't. Like he, he literally asks for Eddie to interview him then he gets mad when Eddie posts what he, what he told Eddie. And then he wants to kill Eddie now because he kind of put him on death row I guess or whatever for solving his crime or something I don't know. This movie's fucking stupid. Just like the first one. It's just fucking retarded. But it's just stupid enough and also has entertaining moments to where you can kind of accept the stupid and kind of go along with it. It's kind of like a Fast and Furious movie. But yes, Cletus breaks out of prison or whatever. He wants to kill Eddie. He goes and rescues his psycho girlfriend who's basically got nothing to her besides she can make Venom and Carnage weak. And she's a psycho. She wants to kill people and shit. She thinks it's funny. Nothing really to her character at all. And then Venom and Carnage have a big fight at the end, of course, of the comic book movie and a Marvel movie, so there's gonna be a big, huge CGI slug fetch at the end. And of course, there's always gonna be a damsel in distress. And then Venom eats Carnage, and then he eats Cletus, and that's the end. Oh, Eddie and Venom go on vacation, and there's a post credit scene where apparently Venom's in the MCU now. So yeah, there's Venom 2 for you. Pretty simple, but the number is moving. I mean, it's not really crazy about it. It was enjoyable, though, I guess. I mean, seeing Carnage, he looked fucking cool. He looked really badass, and it was cool seeing him murder people. That, how psychotic that sounds, but... At least it didn't end with fucking Riot and Venom slugging around with each other, because they look literally identical. So it was easier to keep track of the action in this movie, because, you know, you got a red symbiote versus a black symbiote. Hopefully in a third movie, he'll fight Spider-Man so it's not just a symbiote versus another symbiote because we've already done that twice now. I didn't think it was really as funny as the first one. It's like they knew the whole reason the first Venom movie was as successful as it was is because of Venom and Eddie's banter. So I tried to amp that up a lot in this movie, but I didn't really feel like it was as funny. I feel like it was just kind of forced into the film because I figured, oh well, it worked really well in the first movie, so hey. Let's just put it in this movie as well. It didn't really work as well for me. Also, the Eminem song was really stupid. So was the first one, but I don't know. It was kind of catchy. So they tried to recapture the magic of the first one, but I think they, they did some things better and they did some things not so better. And this movie's a lot shorter. It's got more entertaining action. And Cletus is a much more interesting villain than whatever that wimp was from the first movie. He ended up Woody Harrelson is like a fucking cartoon character, basically. I also think the movie would have benefited a lot from having an R rating. So many times when there was brutal action, they had to kind of cut away from someone being murdered or getting their head chopped off. And I think the action would have been amplified a lot if they just made the movie rated R. But since apparently this is now in the Spider-Man universe, I guess they were scared to make it rated R because, oh well, maybe in the future we'll be teaming up with Spider-Man, huh? Hey? Which, it looks like that's where they're going, I don't know, it doesn't really make a lot of fucking sense. Like, so are they saying Venom's gonna be in No Way Home, or is Spider-Man gonna be in Venom 3? Like, what is this saying exactly? I guess we'll find out in December. Maybe. But yeah, Venom 2 overall, it's just a fine movie. It's nothing really amazing. If you like the first one, you'd probably like this one. If you didn't like the first one, there's probably no reason for you to really watch this one. Because it's basically the same shit, only, in my opinion, it's got a, a better antagonist. Because the first one was really shit. And this movie's shorter, so it's not as much of a waste of your time like the first one was. Oh, and also that white girl's back in here, but she probably is, she's only probably maybe two scenes. So yeah, they don't waste a lot of time with her like they did in the first movie. 
where she really just boggles in the movie down because she's such a boring character. She's literally like a fucking love interest from like a 2005 superhero movie. Oh, and this time she's like married. For some reason she calls Eddie to dinner just to tell him that she's married. And it's like, if this is your ex, why the fuck do you need to tell him that you're married? It makes no sense to me. Why are you, are you even bothering with this guy? Seems like she still wants Eddie's dick. We'll see how that goes in the third movie, I guess. But yeah, that's my review of Venom Let There Be Carnage. What a stupid title. What did you guys think about Venom? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Let me know in the comment section down below.